In a recent poll of 745 randomly selected adults, 588 said that it is morally wrong to not report all income on tax returns. Use a 0.01 significance level to test the claim that 70% of adults say that it is morally wrong to not report all income on tax returns. Identify the null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, test statistic, p-value, conclusion about the null hypothesis, and final conclusion that addresses the original claim. Use the p-value method. Use the normal distribution as an approximation of the binomial distribution. We are to begin by identifying the correct null and alternative hypotheses. The problem says to test the claim that 70% of adults say that it is morally wrong. So that is equal to or not equal to. It doesn't say to test that it is greater than or less than 70%, but rather that the percentage is 70. Remember that the null hypothesis always contains the equal sign. So our alternative hypothesis then would be not equal to. So we have a two-tailed test. We are to find the test statistic. We'll do that using StatCrunch. So we'll press question help, StatCrunch, and then we'll click stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. The problem said that 588 out of 745 responded that it is morally wrong. So the number of successes is 588 and the number of observations is 745. We are told to perform a hypothesis test, and the hypothesized proportion is 0.7. It's a two-tailed test, so we'll leave the symbol in the alternative hypothesis at not equal to. Click Compute, and the z-stat that we're given is 5.32 if we round to two decimal places. Then we are to find the p-value and round it to four decimal places. The output box in StatCrunch gives us the p-value as less than 0 0.0001. So in other words, there is no significance out to four decimal places. So we will enter our p-value as 0 0.0000. We are now to identify the conclusion about the null hypothesis and the final conclusion that addresses the original claim. Since our p-value is less than our alpha level of 0 0.01, we should reject the null hypothesis. So there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that 70% of adults say that it is morally wrong not to report all income on tax returns.